friends, I'm so happy to come your way once again from Baby Child and Co. I hope you are well. Today we are talking about kidney health because that is the theme for this year's World Kidney Day. It's kidney health for everyone everywhere. The kidneys, we have two kidneys, most of us in our bodies. Their job is to clean our body of wastes and those wastes come out as urine. In addition to that, they also produce certain substances, hormones in our bodies to make our bodies work well. They help with our bone health, they help with our blood levels, they do so many things, but most notably they produce urine, which is a waste substance from our body. Like I said, most of us have two kidneys, though you can live perfectly well on one, and a few people have one kidney, and that's also not a problem. So I just want to give us a few tips about minimizing kidney diseases in our children or preventing kidney diseases in our children. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is a urinary tract infection. It's simply what it is, an infection in your urinary tract. So the urinary tract has your kidney, has your ureters, your urethra, your bladder, and so on and so forth. So infection there. When your baby gets it or your child gets it, you may find that your baby's temperature is hot or high. Your baby will not feel well, it's irritable, just crying, crying, it's vomiting, and it's weak. These may be symptoms of urinary tract infection, and you should see a doctor for those. If you do suspect that your baby has a urinary tract infection, please do not buy over-the-counter medications for your child. See a doctor so that the right thing can be done for your child. Urinary tract infections are commonly treated using antibiotics. And sometimes we take the urine to the lab and it helps us to decide what's the best antibiotic for your child. To prevent urinary tract infection in your children, one of the things you should do is to give your children a lot of water to drink. Or if they are under six months, to breastfeed them as much as possible because breast milk is mostly composed of water. So as they urinate, it sort of cleanses the kidney, just as it cleanses the body as well. So keeping them very well hydrated is one way to prevent a urinary tract infection. And encouraging them to pass urine often. Sometimes our children go to school and because the washroom is nasty, they do not like to urinate, so they keep their urine. That can make them get urinary tract infections. So that's something to watch out for in your child's school. Your child should drink and should urinate as often as he or she feels like urinating. Another tip for preventing a urinary tract infection is when we are wiping our babies who are in diapers. When we are wiping them, you should wipe from front to back. Because if you wipe from back to front, sometimes you are pushing some of the poo into um, where it can easily go up into their urinary tracts. So you should always wipe your baby girls from front to back and make sure that you wipe well. Another tip for you to prevent urinary tract infection. And when the babies have urinary tract infection or children have urinary tract infection, sometimes it's very painful for them to urinate. So again, they hold their urine. So in that case, it's important that you draw your healthcare workers' attention to it so that a child or baby can be given some pain relief to enable the child or the baby to pass urine as often as he or she feels like it. Another thing you can do to maintain the kidney health of your child is to watch out for any abnormalities your child may be born with. Sometimes babies are born with one or two anomalies or abnormalities. We call them congenital. It means that that is how they are born. So in the boy babies, their urine, when it is coming out, she shoots. She shoots like an arc. But sometimes you find a boy who is urinating and is dribbling, or the urine is coming out in drops. That is not a good thing. You should draw your healthcare workers' attention to it. And also, some of these anomalies may come with undescended testes. So if it's a boy, you should check that both testes are down in the scrotum. Again, if they are not, you should draw your healthcare workers' attention to it. Another thing we can do to maintain uh, the kidney health of our babies is to know their G6PD status. 
So if you haven't visited our blog, that is babychildandco.com, you should because there we have an article on GCSPD deficiency. So you should know your baby's GCSPD status so that certain drugs can be avoided. When you do that, you maintain their kidney health. And then let's try and prevent malaria because one of the causes of kidney disease in children is malaria. So let's prevent malaria by sleeping in insecticide-treated nets and then if the child gets malaria, by seeking appropriate treatment for the child. There are some medications that can harm the kidney. So when your child is sick, let a child be taken to hospital so that the appropriate thing can be done for the child. And again, there are some herbs. Unfortunately, I do not know names and say it is this herb or that herb. So again, there are some herbs that can damage our kidneys. So it's important that you take your child to hospital if your child is not well. We can talk about kidney on and on, but these are just a few tips for you. As this week is World Kidney Day, a few tips to help you maintain your child's kidney health. If you have questions, we are more than happy to have them. Just leave them in the comment section. We'll definitely get back to you. We encourage you to subscribe. If you have already subscribed, thank you. Subscribe. Click on the notification button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Find us on Facebook. Also go to babychildandco.com. That's our blog. Thank you. Bye-bye.